The following footage is brought to you by WouldYouKindly.com. There comes a time when a gamer will play something truly unique, something so different words just can't describe it, and today, I try to describe one of these games. That being a Japanese Nintendo 64 release called Sin and Punishment. Now, now, this isn't some adult erotic novel that has chains, whips, and strong sexual language that make you want to take a shower right afterwards. No, 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 no. This is an on-rail shooter from the fine folks at Treasure, a group known for making amazing arcade-style games. Saki! Oh, Saki! Good morning, Saki. Good morning, Iron. One thing that words just can't describe, and believe me, I'm really gonna try here, and that is the story. I am a huge fan of Japanese anime and Japanese games, but holy shit am I ever confused. From what I gather, you're a rebel group who's fighting some other group of people, there's some monsters, Japan gets messed up, and there's Evangelions! Funny thing though, the game never got a US release, but it does feature English voice acting, and it still makes no sense. But at the same time, I'm quite interested, so it's really, you just, you, know, you just have to play to find out. What else so doesn't help is that the English voice acting is just pure bad. And it was kind of a thing back around the 90s, early 2000s, where the voice acting was just... Can't even escape! They're crying! Ha <laughs> ha! They're crying for our name! Gosh, it was just ass. Just, just pure booty ass. But I will say that the voices did seem to match the characters, it's just that the acting is just bad. And the graphics aren't really that bad for an N64 release, it looks like it would really push the N64 to its limits, and action hardly ever seems to slow down. The soundtrack also helps set the mood for each stage and goes really well. I won't lie, this game is not the easiest to describe, especially when it comes to the story and everything else that's going on. But this is not the reason you're going to be playing Sin and Punishment. Not for its story, and especially not for the voice act. It's going to be that arcade-style gameplay that you're going to want. The controls for the game are a bit awkward, and it will take some time to get used to. Since I'm playing this on the Wii's Virtual Console, and the Virtual Console version, by the way, translates the menus into English, which is fantastic, the controls will grow on you once you get used to them. You're going to be shooting your enemies down, moving left to right, while the game pushes you forward. It's kind of like a crazy roller coaster ride. If enemies or projectiles come in close, you can tap the fire button to start swinging your sword, and projectiles themselves can also become like little tennis balls of death when you smack them and you blow up your enemies for massive damage. Sin and punishment can get really intense at times, and you will find yourself dying a lot. It is easy to earn credits throughout the game, so that does help. Boss battles, though, are very unique. Instead of fighting the same old reskin enemies, you'll be facing various ones, and they all play differently. Heck, you can even use the environment to your advantage to take out enemies. This game also doesn't hold your hand, it doesn't walk you across the street, pack your lunch, kiss you on your forehead and your boo-boos, it makes things feel better. No! It's like it's trial by fire, it throws you in there, you gotta learn it, you gotta play it, you gotta fall, scrape your knees, cry, and then pick yourself back up, and then show that you're a true warrior. Or you just keep going and hitting continue, and try again. But that's the fun. It's old-fashioned, old-school, but it's really satisfying. Also, the other thing you gotta keep on is your timer. See, if the timer runs to zero, it's not game over. You can still fight and defend yourself, but your health bar will quickly drain. So grab time, grab health, keep on fighting to save your ass. So remember, this game isn't about just killing everything on screen. It's about being effective and getting on to the next part. Sin and Punishment is a game that you should be playing as soon as you can. Only other than the minor downfalls that I've talked about, which is that the game is short. It really can be beaten within a couple of hours. I've beaten it within an hour and a half. But seriously, this game is a gem you cannot pass up. 
Yes, it will take some practice for you to learn, and it can be hard at times, but the challenge does feel fair. And with enough practice and determination, you can win. And heck, even though the story is confusing as it could be, I actually did like it. So go download this or import a copy for your Nintendo 64 and let your friends know that you're into Sin and Punishment. Though, disclaimer, don't blame me if they take their pants off and misunderstand you, okay? <laughs>